Hello, how's everybody doing? It is October 26th. And we're out here in front of Dollar Tree and the shopping center preaching the gospel. So we have we have stickers we're handing out. Anointed prayer cloths with anchors on it. Jesus is the anchor of our soul. We have candy. And we have our Jesus tracks. Now on these Jesus tracks, people can take it with them. And it has a prayer for um, to get Jesus on it. So a lot of people keep these Jesus tracks with them. One man kept the Jesus tracks with them and in his wallet and he showed it to me a few years later and he said, I've always had money in my wallet since you handed me this Jesus track. <laughs> you never know what kind of testimonies you're going to get. I think that was an amazing one. He's so good to us. All right, so we're going to talk about Jesus. Now, we're going to read a lot of things today. How are you? Good. Hello. All right, so we're going to... We're going to read Romans chapter 8. What does that say? There is therefore now no condemnation to those which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit is life in Christ Jesus. He has made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own son, Jesus Christ, in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the Spirit, the things of the Spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because a carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please God. But you are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit. If so be that the Spirit of God dwells in you. Now if any man does not have the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the Spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the Spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead will also quicken your mortal bodies by a spirit that dwells in you. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh to live after the flesh, but if we live after the flesh, you will die. But if you through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, you will live. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For you have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time 
are not worthy to be compared with the glory which will be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creature waits for the manifestation of the sons of God. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who has subjected the same in hope. Because the creature itself also will be delivered from the bondage of corruption, from the bondage, from from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation groans and travails and pain together until now. And not only they, but ourselves also, which are the first fruits of the Spirit. Even we ourselves groan within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to where the redemption of our body. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is now hope. For what a man sees, why does he yet hope for it? But if we hope for that we don't see, then do we wait with patience and we wait for it. Likewise, the Spirit also helps our infirmities. For we know not what we ought should pray as we ought, but the Spirit itself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searches the hearts knows what is the mind of the Spirit, because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom did you whom did whom he did predestinate? Them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. What will we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? <laughs> no one. That's right. That's the answer. He that's he that spread not his son. He that spared not his son, but delivered him up for us all. However, will he not with all things freely give us all things? He will lay anything to the charge of God's elect. It is God that justifies. Who is he that condemns? It is Christ that died. Yes, rather that is risen again. Who is even at his right hand a God who also makes intercession for us? He will separate us from the love of Jesus Christ. Will tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for your sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. No, but in all these things we are more than conquerors. <laughs> That's right. Through him who loves us. Nice. For I'm persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature will be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. That's Romans 8. Yep. Everybody get a Bible. Read the Word. It'll save your soul when you have a connection with Jesus Christ. And you never leave Him. See, it's all about relationship. It's all about loving Him. Pouring your love out on Him. Your gratitude. Your thanksgiving. Thank Him for what He's done for you. He's the one who does all things. And all things are possible through him. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We're going to be reading the word. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your words. Hello. 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 What's in Hebrews? Everything is great in the Bible. Read it. It's amazing. We're gonna get we're gonna get on fire. Are you ready? <laughs> We're going to read Hebrews chapter 1. God who at sundry at times and in diverse manners spoke in times past unto the fathers by the prophets has in these last days spoken unto us by his son whom he has appointed heir of all things by whom also he made the world who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power. When he had by himself purged their sins, sat down at the right hand of majesty on high, being made so much better than the angels, as he has by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. For under which the angels said, He at any time, You are my son, this day have I begotten you. And again, I will be to him a father, and he will be to me a son. And again, when he brings in the first begotten into the world, he says, And let all the angels of God worship him. And of the angels, he, he says, Who makes his angel spirits, and his ministers a flame of fire. But under the sun, he says, Your throne, O God, is forever and ever. The scepter of righteousness is a scepter of your kingdom. You have loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore, God, even your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your fellows. And you, Lord, in the beginning, you have laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the works of your hands. They will perish, but you remain, and they all will wax old as does a garment, and as a vesture. Will you fold them up, and they will be changed, but you are the same, and your years will not fail. But to which of the angels said he at any time, Sit at my right hand, until I make your enemies my footstool? Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who will be heirs of salvation? This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We're waiting for more people to come. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for what you're doing here. You're doing great and mighty things. There's power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. He breaks every chain, breaks every chain, breaks every chain. There is power and authority and dominion in the name of Jesus. All power all authority and all dominion is in the name of Jesus. And he breaks every chain. He breaks every chain. Breaks every chain. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up 
They'll break every chain. They'll break every chain. They'll break every chain. Because they're carriers of my presence. They're carriers of my love. They're carriers of my virtue. They're carriers of my anointing. And they destroy every yoke of bondage. Yeah. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. You need prayer? No. Huh? Prayer? Yeah. I can pray for you? Yeah. All right. What's your name? Michael. Michael, I'm Wendy. I pray that repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. You died on the cross for me. Died for me. Forgive me for my sins. Give my sins. Come into my heart. From my heart. Give me your Holy Spirit. Give me your Holy Spirit. And help me. And help me. To see you clearly. See you clearly. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray strength. I pray healing in your body. Let everything um, leave your body that's not of the Lord Jesus Christ. Command you to leave and never come back. Renew his mind, Father. Give him love. Pour your love out on him in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Here. What do you want? You like stickers? Yes. No, no, no. Have a good day. something else here. We're talking about the army, let's see. Thank you, Lord, for everything. Be your plowshares. This is uh, Joel chapter 10. Beat your plowchairs into swords and your pruning hooks into spears and let the weak say I am strong. Nice. Let the weak say I 